Hey guys, welcome back to Grey Wolf TV. We are continuing our brand new season of The Expanse with episode 3. The last one was something I've been wanting to get more of for a long time, and that's more background and more information on Amos. Um, so we got quite a bit last time. Uh, not what I expected, but we did find what I did suspect for quite some time as to why he is the way he is around children. We got him, uh, I wouldn't say reminiscing, that's not the right word, remembering back when he was a kid and what he had done to him in the life and the world that he grew up in, which is why he's so the way he is now. Um, so it was nice to get that the kind of uh, confirmation of what I've suspected about him for quite some time. So anyway, we're just going to carry on. This is episode three. So I've seen these. Size, shape, composition are all over the place. They were having instrument malfunctions. That's one possibility. What else could be a possibility? That is real. That's weird. What? All these rocks have consistently higher return signatures on one side only. If a rock that size hit Earth, how big of an impact would that create? It wouldn't. Our asteroid spotters would easily detect an asteroid of that size. What if it didn't? Mm. Theoretically. Uh, well, with a typical iron nickel core, assuming a speed at impact of, say, 30,000 kph, the blast would Tell be velocity. about one to four megatons, depending on the impact angle. Okay. I don't understand. Take that for the road, Doctor. This discussion does not leave this room. Are you clear? Yes, sir. Marco Inaris threw a stealth rock at us. And it broke up. We got lucky. You think it stopped at one? No. Nope. We need to retask the watchtowers. Are you out of your fucking mind, ma'am? They're the only thing that can penetrate stealth tech. Which is why they're always pointed at Mars. And if the SG gets wind of it... I have burned all the bridges in front of me and behind me. And I don't give a fuck. That was fire control for Ashford's stolen Martian PDCs. It's Search a ship for backup data course. Sinister. Ashford will have those hidden somewhere. According to my sources, Cortazar was taken from a secure research facility and off of series by a Belter strike team. This was the other thing you wanted to discuss. I left you that message about an hour before I was grabbed. Whoever did this, they could be coming for you next. Station's still in lockdown. Once we find the skinnies that grabbed it, we're gonna get some answers. Why you, Jake? Not cut. I see you before, okay? Too good, gay, for take gift from belt to go back. I mean no disrespect. I know it's hard times around here. <laughs> Fuck it, you know about hard times. <laughs> and they only I remember. But never have gotten shit done like that. Damn! <laughs> that was accent strong here. Hey, couple seats just open up, huh? <laughs> <laughs> you here for bounty or Mako? If I wanted to put you in jail, you'd be there already. <laughs> and probably last time, three of us here together. You? We'll wake a couple guys from the brothel trying to kiss his ass for better shifts on the line. I know Philip's here. I came to see him. What a fucking chat. You don't speak for him. He don't want to speak to you. He don't want you in his life. I believe that when he tells me to my face, you have to tell Philip I'm here and that I need to see him. I have the right. You have nothing. You miss the trip. Go back. Back to your inners. So she'll lead the conversation and won't suspect a thing when you ask a few questions about Cybertech. It just she seems cool, you know? And I read all the reports and I saw the pictures that were made public, but the RCE reports are classified and the oh, body language is wrong for me. Inconsistencies. See, it started with a swarm of metal locusts and it ended with a run of the mill physics defying fusion shut down that I'm not at liberty to discuss. Mm. I'm sorry. <laughs> Human consciousness simulated by alien biotech. Exactly. Incredible. Hey, if it wasn't for Miller, we'd all be dead on that rock. 
But lucky for everyone, we destroyed that last piece of protomala crap. So now all those machines on all those other planets, they're gonna remain inert. No backup data core, no comm buffer, no nothing, nada. Boss Mang, what is it? Hydraulic fault in forward airlock. It needs manual reset. God damn it. I'll do it. Find Marco Naros and collect a $20 million bounty on his head. A bounty? We pirates in salvage business. We are pirates in the making money business. Marco defeated Clay's Ashford, the ghost knife himself. Ashford had one ship. We have three. We do this, then we earn the lasting respect of the other factions. And the bounty will sustain us for years to come. The original manifest for the shipping container is gone. Oh, thanks for telling us something we already know. But the container assembler is on Tycho. Duru Freight. Tamiya and Bedasto Duru. Maybe, uh, I don't know, we could do it again when you get back. That would be interesting. Right, I get it. No, you don't. <laughs> Guilty as charged. Why do I? Son of a bitch! Oh, crap. Oh. 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 What's a nice, upstanding Martian like you want to know about Admiral Sovater? Shoot him. Oh. No, don't. Well, no, I think that's a mistake. Hey, Alex. Oh, Bobby, come on. Ah! Shit. Ah! You knew they weren't going to get one up over on Bobby. Well, he whacked you up with a pretty powerful sedative. Why do you think they did that? That is a good question, sir. They were trying to rob him, officer. Do you know either of the assailants? No. Why would we? One of the former Navy petty officers, dishonorably discharged. For what? Theft of military there. hardware? There you go. Looks like we shook the right tree. Yeah. If Babbage is on a supply run, her ship could easily be full of weapons. This could be a very big deal. We could flush out their entire smuggling chain. Master belt. Unless they spot us. Razorback's got no guns. All right, Gunny. Let's go prep this ship. All right, I'll meet you there, okay? I'm gonna grab a few things just in case. This okay. feels like a trap. You don't have to hide your grief from me or from anyone. Not anymore. When Ashford left to hunt Marco, he asked me to be his exo. I gave him this bottle as a send-off, but he told me to hold on to it. He said we'd drink it together when he returned. But now you're grieving your lost friend, and your pain is bringing you back to who you were before. Hard, looking for violence. Stay with me. I feel so, so sorry for Doma. I will. We found the Tynan. As I feared, Ashford is dead. He was convinced that Marco Inaros was up to something, and I think he was right. I'm sending you what Ashford found. Is this Maybe it will do some Fred? good for the belt. You'll know when it is, because it'll feel right. 
That's not the last. We'll save that ball. I need to. What speak. do you want? I needed to speak with you. Why should I listen to you? But I loved you more than I ever thought I could love anyone. Then why did you leave? Complicated. What is this? I'll never forgive myself for making the choice that I did. When I was little, I used to dream about what this moment would one day be like. What I would say to you, but that moment never came. I don't need any of your help. I don't want anything to happen to you because of what your father's done. I can help you before you get hurt. I bought it for you. Everything my father told me about you is true. As far as we can tell, someone locked and vented the Dura Brothers' compartment before anybody could ask any questions. Sakai and I located the ship that was scheduled to pick her up. They think Monica's still in the container. Mm -hmm. They could do. That's the way it's going to stay. Yes. Because that information does not leave this room. I'll set up a party inside the container, and when they open the door, we'll take them and the ship. And let's no. make sure we have someone left to talk to. Yeah, time. exactly. Coming with us. Boston, she can't call. Do it. No! No! <laughs> if you were in charge and someone came to you with this theory, you would laugh them out of your office, and if they persisted, you would reassign them to the farthest outpost in the Jovian system. Part of this job is knowing when it's over and moving on. That's what we need to do. Fuck. Felix. This is all just landing in place for Marcus. You're the only ally I have left. I've gone as far as I can. Suspicions are about you to be confirmed. You do know, Marco, that throwing rocks at Tycho or Ceres will do little to harm the innocents. You still don't see it. I don't see what? Can't even imagine it. It's all small. Okay, that was episode three, season five. <clears throat> Four seasons of this show has proven it's probably the best sci-fi show that's ever been made. I have been a... <sighs> What's the word? <laughs> I have always maintained that one of the best ones I've ever watched, which I'm currently watching still, is Battlestar Reimagined, the remake, which is now nearly 20 years old. But this... Man, this show... It's took a very distinct change in season five. Um, I haven't read the books. I do have the books. I've just downloaded all of the books onto my tablet to be able to read them because I feel I need to um I'm just gonna be a lot way behind with the books because I don't read books that often so I'm not that quick um we are getting a lot more in depth with our character development and background and storylines whilst all of this is <sighs> happening around them and it's now just come to the point where everyone involved that has had a suspicion as to what an RS is up to has just happened. I knew that guy was going to come back to Christian and tell her there's no way they were going to retest the satellites. Um, bit too late now. That was quite emotional, that episode. Um, we got a lot of focus on Naomi. We got a lot of focus on Drummer. Um, I wanted more background on Drummer because she's had it pretty rough too. And... <sighs> he was her friend. Astrid was her friend. And she's reeling in 
whether she made the right decision or not, but her friend is right. Had you decided to be Zexo, your fate would have probably have been the same. And what good would that be now? I like it showed that she had the bottle there and she opened it as a sign of I've made my peace, I've made my decision with it. This isn't my fight, it shouldn't be my fight for all the wrong reasons. And then she puts the cork back in. No, not yet. It's too soon. It's not the right time. Um, so the special effects are off the chain especially in this season and the Naomi thing what really else did you expect was going to happen you've gone there on your own you told Holden why you were going on your own that's fair enough under normal circumstances but with everything that's going on and who you are and who he is and who his father is and with what's all going on around this you knew something bad was going to happen. So now they are confirming to us that they are all part of his plan. We already knew his son was, was working with him anyway. But what was once her friends are obviously involved as well. They're taking the ship that she brought here. Um, but as regards the actual conversation with Philip. You've not been there for whatever reason. You have your understanding and your reasons why, and he has his. You know what happened when he was a little baby and why you left and why you abandoned everything. All he knows is from the one person who was still around to bring him up and tell him, which is his father. So even if he was open to listening to you, that's not going to change overnight. And just coming along and telling him that you love him and you'll always love him and you're sorry that you abandoned him and the sorry he left, that's that's just not enough. And with what's going on with him and his father and what they're currently doing, he's not going to walk away from it and he probably can't walk away from it at this stage. So now <laughs> we've got a right mess here. We've got Christian knowing there's an attack coming and won't be listened to because she's no longer in the position of power that she was because she gave up everything, including her own family, to try to hold on to it. We've got Holden and Fred Johnson, who are on the trail of what's going on, thanks to the reporter, but they're a bit behind. Um, hopefully, if they come still for this container because they think she's still in it, they can get a lead from there. We've got Bobby and Alex. Oh, Alex. I felt sorry for Alex in that episode because you went there to try and glean information off her and she just turned the table on you. And I think the only reason she's giving you the name of this ship is because she knows exactly what you are going to do. And now that they've got that information of Bobby out of him as well, they know that you're going to go and try and spy on them as to exactly what's going on and try and pull them down for it. I, I, it's a trap. I'm sorry. It's a trap. And Alex just misread it as a woman being interested in him. That's sad. Um, so we've got that going on. Now the rocks just landed on Earth and now the shit's going to hit the van. But the series is great. Um, it was, had been a bit of a slower start, a bit of a slower burn. But it's given us so much more. We've had mo so much more background on people that we didn't have that much on, especially Alex and Amos and Drummer. We're getting an expansion of the characters. I like that they're bringing more and more of them out because I don't think this series is far from over. They're trying to build on what we already have. A lot of it has been action and weird protomolecule stuff and weird science stuff and... and mind-bending um, things going on that break the laws of physics. But we've never really had time to just calm it down and tell the story of the people as well. Just snippets. And now we're getting more of that. Like I said, it feels this season feels a lot darker, a lot more sinister, but more involved. And I'm liking it. Anyway, I don't want to waffle on for too long. So we will be back for episode four very soon and we will see 
what uh, comes of what's just happened to Earth because all suspicions are now going to be confirmed from all parties who thought something was a fault, shall we say. Right, see you for episode four in a few days time, guys. So until then, don't forget, full length reaction on Patreon. As always, give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Post your comments down below. I'll see you for the next one. Take care. Don't